So this is going to be the first video of a new series, which is going to be raw talks. And during these videos, I'm just going to like talk to the camera, um, just sharing my stories. I think um, authenticity on YouTube uh, is something that hasn't been happening a lot lately, as there has been a lot of fancy editing, a lot of stuff going on. And with this series, I'm just going to take you with me basically on uh, a journey where me, Carlos, um, is just going to share my experience over the past years as being an entrepreneur about who I am as a person, um, what I appreciate on a daily basis, what I do, and actually to like stay fit, stay focused, uh, to keep my business growing, to, to, you know, get the best times with my family, all that kind of stuff. This is just going to be 100% raw, raw talk and no editing, no fancy stuff, nothing like that. I just have my laptop here right here because I'm recording. Um, to also have, let's say, written down some few notes about, let's say, specific topics that I would like to have covered during these videos. And, you know, in today's video, I'm just going to give you guys an introduction of what we can expect for the upcoming weeks. Um, I don't care too much about who's actually going to see this video. I just want to create like a genuine, authentic, like just raw, you know, channel. Um, that's basically what I want to do with this kind of um, videos that I'm creating and all the other ones. We'll have the editing stuff in there to have like special effects and everything. But within these videos, there are also going to be like an, a lot, like a lot of ums and ahs, you know, in between. And that's basically what I will leave there. I won't do anything like editing, any fancy stuff on like no fancy thumbnails, nothing like that. So, um, yeah, guys, um, also the upcoming videos, I would like to just ask you guys if you have something you would like me to, let's say, cover as well in upcoming videos. You can just like leave questions as well in the comments as so I will basically read everything after uh, uploading the videos. So with that being said, you know, um, it's gonna be super authentic. All the questions that you guys have, like doesn't need to be about anything specific regarding business, like fitness, like my, my family maybe. I would like to share as much as I can in the most authentic way. And that's basically what I wanna share with you guys during these videos in the upcoming weeks, I will try to upload one, maybe even two videos every single week. Um, right now I'm in the Netherlands, but I will move to Spain back uh, to my family there uh, from tomorrow onwards. Today's the 25th of March of 2024. And uh, the 26th, I will fly back. I will basically be with my grandmother in uh, her apartment for the first two months. And then I will move into my own place to have, let's say, also like a, you know, better surrounding with um, better views and everything. Um, but until then, I'm just going to sit like, honestly, it's a desk where I'm literally working on. And my back, I can tell you, because like there's no like fancy chair like this is going to be straight. But because it's that straight, I will always sit like this, like an Igor. So <laughs> it's going to be super, super uh Let's say I will have a good time there. I know a lot of people won't be able to do that, to work like that. But honestly, um, I'm coming there my entire life. Uh, now to be able to work there as well is bringing a lot of good memories. So I'm actually able to basically perform really well to keep my focus as there is not much of a distraction. And that is super, super good because, you know, I can do like a monk mode for maybe two months without being get you know, and getting distracted, like in big cities. Um, yeah, and that's going to be super, super awesome. I'm just going to share my raw talks and other YouTube videos as well there. I don't care too much about, you know, how my surroundings are. I just want to share um, everything that I would like to share. Um, and of course, the questions that you might have, um, which you can just leave in the comment. But um, yeah, it's going to be a super, super good time when I'm there to just work on the business, to grow that. Um my e-commerce business and also, of course, my consulting with my uh, two teams. And uh, I'm going to be super excited to, to you know, just, just not be, let's say, distracted, to be in monk mode. And I think um, I'm actually in monk mode like for actually the past five years because I don't drink, I don't, you know, smoke, I don't do anything of that. I don't even go out to party, honestly. I haven't done that in four or five years. And it might sound super strange, but did you know, that's just the way how I am. I just love to have, let's say, a very good, um, let's say, focus and routine in place. 
So I know I would be able to perform, let's say, on a Sunday where most people might, let's say, recover, right, from uh, like their Saturday night. And it gives me like, because it's Monday right now as well, it gives me an advantage over, let's say, my competition, even though I'm just competing with myself. And also other people who think, you know, they, hey, you know, with their high, um, let's say, highly achievable people or how you call that. But at the end, if you, let's say, have not a clear structure in place and how you, let's say, how your week is going to look like, right? It's going to be super, super um, hard for you to have, let's say, in root, let's say, in good direction and where you're going the week that follows. So I use my Sundays not to, let's say, get, you know, be wasted in bed by like the Saturday evening, but to actually plan ahead so I can also perform from actually day one, which is going to be Monday. I can tell you Mondays are one of my favorite days of the week. I'm super laser focused and um, like not too much going on, of course, not too much of noise. Um, in let's say the small village where I'm going to also move to in Spain is actually no distraction at all. It's not like a city like Madrid, which is actually 100 uh, kilometers below it. Um, I'm also going to be there like for several days, but I know for sure that I have the discipline as well, you know, to not drink, to not party. I never, I've never done that. So yeah, I don't know what I don't know, but I do know that I'm in the best shape and uh, the best momentum while I'm in focus, while I'm actually working out every single week, every single day for the last five years without skipping a single day, um, you know, by working on myself and growing my business, for example, to be around family. For example, yesterday as well, you know, I worked the entire day, got great results, but at the end, what made me really happy, you know, during a day is having a fancy, let's say not a fancy dinner at all, um, but just like a normal dinner, right? With my family, where my father is, for example, um, you know, putting on the barbecue to put like 4K, four kilograms of like um, chicken wings on it. Um, and then they looked really burnt, but that's basically his, you know, recipe. You know, it, it's, it's looking so, so good and it's tasting even better with like the honey on it at the end. It's pfft. That's basically what makes me happy. Um, I also got like great reactions from those who watched my story from uh, the 24th of March, um, where I actually just shared, you know, what he was doing and what I was actually eating. Um, yeah, it's looking so good. Um, but that's actually what makes me happy. So the things that I'm going to miss, like in the Netherlands, for example, I'm also able to work really well here because I'm not living here in Amsterdam, but in the East, which there is actually no distraction at all instead of like McDonald's, <laughs> but, um, I'm not doing all that. You know, I don't eat that stuff. Of course. Um, I'm also going to share a lot about like health, nutrition, all that kind of stuff. What I eat in a day during the upcoming videos, one is going to be super different from another one. And this one is just going to be an introduction. So yeah, um, in here as well, in the Netherlands, I just, love to be around my family while I also have very big family in Spain. Um, but yeah, my parents, my brother, my dog as well, you know, they live here. Um, they come and visit me as well every now and then. Um, but it's always good to have some people around you who you love and to just share a bit more about what I mean by that. For example, as most of you guys know as well, I was actually moving and planning to move to Spain in December um of 2023 of last year last december and i did that and my goal was to you know stay in madrid as i'm like more like an introvert i thought you know i will just go to madrid i will have my apartment there um and that one for example was a fancy apartment uh i was at the point you know of signing a one-year contract but i didn't do it but why you know i got a lot of questions uh about that even from my family. And I just told them as well, look, you have to understand what your core values are in life. For me, for example, that's like, like I said, my family, you know, having good time, like just the small things, like having a good dinner, for example, with them, or just going for a walk with my dog in the morning while, you know, the sun is not even up or it's like, you know, the sun is coming up. Then I, I feel really happy. And when I was in Madrid, I was completely on my own. I thought, you know, I can be here like for the next one, two, three, four, five years, not knowing, you know, what's coming on my plate. I will actually, you know, 
just grow a lot. That's what I thought. And over the past years, also in this story, actually, guys, to before I proceed, it's going to be a value, valuable lesson maybe for those who are having the exact same thing where I'm going to talk about right now. Because my ego was very, very big, not in a negative way, actually how you look at it, but more in a way of, okay, if I just like move out right now, I'm not going to like sign the apartment. I told myself that I would feel very, very, um, let's say that I would fail, right? Because I see it, I saw it as a failure. I saw it as like, as I'm, if I'm not doing it right now and I'm just moving back to where I was, then I would feel like I have failed in life, this part of life. And that was basically getting my ego, you know, to grow while I was not 100% sure about willing to do that because I was very far from family. I had no one around, not even friends that I knew in a very big city, which I know, like I love Madrid for sure. But it was not like an environment where I felt like loved, where I felt appreciated. And I do know, like, you know, you will learn a lot through the stuff that you will do on yourself. But I also do believe when you're around people, you're able to perform way better around people you love, of course, and appreciate because people need to have people around them, um, you know, that they care about, but also care about them. Um, that's what I believe. Humans are not made to, from what I believe, and everybody can have his own like vision on it, to, let's say, be in a situation, of course, you know, where you um, will grow. That's like super important, but like to not be around people and putting yourself in difficult situations where you not feel good, then signing an apartment for a year where you have at least, you know, to pay 20,000 over the entire year, even more, um, to pay for rent. And that's not the issue, but if you're not happy there, then it's not like, oh, it's a valuable lesson. In my opinion, it's more like, you know, your ego was too big to actually tell yourself that you actually didn't want that in the first place. And that's where I thought of, thought about. And when I had a call with my business coach, actually before the day, I would like sign the contract. He told me as well, like, you know, why actually doing this? Your ego is so big don't do it. And I thought, you know, what do you mean? Don't do it. You know, that feels like a failure. And I thought, you know, 10 years, maybe they later down the line, I would be so happy about myself. But also, you know, what's important right now is not to only live in the future, but also live in the present right now, because you only have right now. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen right after the video. Maybe I'm not even able to upload it. Who knows? But I do know that I want to be not happy because happiness is like so something that always like comes and goes. That's a feeling. But to be around people that could give me, let's say, happiness in some sort of way where I would be able to perform at my best in terms of like, you know, working out, going to the gym, fitness, um, nutrition, like to be on top of my mind, um, to, you know, to, to be able to f perform with my business, to be able to perform for my clients all the kind of stuff that's for me very important. And I was not able to do that. I saw I was lacking, like not lacking, but I was not even happy with the food that I was eating, which I always loved. The thing that I always create for myself is like a yogurt bowl, which I will share about a lot of well, got a lot of questions about it, but you know, I, I saw that I was having a hard time to actually even prepare my own food because I was feeling really bad and that was something that I felt was one of the hardest times actually in my life where I was on myself for like three weeks uh, longer, actually, um, to, you know, to then decide what I actually wanted. And I was not signing the contract. That's what I didn't do at the end. And I was so grateful right now to not do that. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't be maybe here right now with my family for maybe two weeks, then be able to move back to my family's place in Spain or to go to, you know, travel around the world because I do have more freedom right now. And that reminded me of, you know, what I wanted by starting an online business was gaining more freedom and not restricting myself to like specific. So on the top of um, basically everything I was telling, I just got called by my mother and that basically interrupted the video because I hadn't my uh, did not have my 
uh, let's say my phone on not basically disturbing mode. Um, but you know, like I said, I want to keep it as raw as possible. So also like these kind of things, these happens, this happens. And, you know, also to tell, look, I'm just recording this from basically my phone, from my iPhone. Um, I don't have like any fancy stuff in terms of, uh, like cameras until now. Uh, I will definitely get one to like give you, you know, just some better, um, visual effects as well. Um, this is going to be like a, a super like important part of the video, right? Because I'm talking, so I need to have a good microphone, but nevertheless, what I was basically talking about, uh, before my mother called me was, um, regarding the thing, um, which gives me freedom. Right. And look, like I said, I wouldn't be able to be maybe here if I would sign like that apartment because I would restrict myself at some point when I would have signed it and I wouldn't maybe be here. And that would remind me as well on the time that I did have, which was basically working in a cookie factory and being a full-time student that was actually moving me further away from the freedom that I was desiring, even at a very young age, because you know, a lot of guys and girls as well, we, we know we do want to have more freedom to spend time with family, with friends and everything. And I didn't have that. Like, honestly, I was working, you know, I think it was almost around the clock because I was either studying or I was working on myself in terms of like, you know, soccer training, um, or I was basically working in a cookie factory. I didn't have much time to do anything with friends or whatever, or with family. And I felt really stuck at that point in my life. So with that being said, I remind, it reminded myself um, also at certain points, um, at times I had earlier where I didn't have to like the freedom that I wanted or, you know, other kind of stuff that didn't do me very well in the early ages. So for me, it's super, super important to stick to my core values. And if you don't know what these are, I would really encourage you to basically find it because at these points, this is actually what's going to make the right decisions for you in your life. Otherwise, the decisions will be made for you. So what I mean by that is super simple. If you know what your core values are for me, like I said, my family, um, like have a good commodity, like good community around me, right? Good, basically synergy. And that's always what I have with my family. And you know, for example, working on myself, not drinking, not smoking, nothing like that. I haven't done that in my entire life. So I wouldn't do that. And that's not my type of freedom. It doesn't mean that it's not for you. But for me, it's being around family and basically people I appreciate. So I can perform at my best, but also have a good time, right? And that was not something that I would get by signing that contract. So basically, that's also why I mentioned earlier on my Instagram that, you know, my core values and what I appreciate in life saved my life at that point. And that's something I'm very grateful for. So, you know, more of this, like this kind of talk, I will also do in the upcoming videos to just show you guys more of who I am, who like this person is, because, you know, I'm not a business owner. I'm someone that I'm for hundred percent sure that's not different than most people watching this video. I'm a super normal person. Um, I don't like to, let's say, show off like a lot of stuff. I'm actually super introvert. Why most people think I'm an extrovert because, you know, I'm having the following, for example, on an Instagram and right now growing my YouTube channel, but this is like, I can tell you it is super, super inconvenient for me to make these videos because I'm not a person who likes to talk like, to a camera, to be very honest. Um, I can, you know, you can put me like in a bunker for like six months while being around family maybe. But if I can do my stuff that I appreciate, that I value, like, you know, working out, working on myself, all those kind of stuff every single day, I don't need much besides it, to be very honest. And I think that makes me also at certain points very strong because I'm not like dependent on, let's say, um, outside circumstances to be able to, let's say, not be happy, but to feel good in order to perform. And that's what I think what most people right now as well have is that they need someone around them in order to be happy. Or they tell them, hey, you know, I need to have case X in order to get to, in order to be happy, or I need to have 
X results in order to do X, Y, Z, right? And if you're dependent on that, that you're unconsciously telling yourself as well that you don't have enough. But honestly, what I've realized also while being in Spain, while I was actually always here with my parents in my house before I moved there, because I'm just turned 23, is that I started appreciating basically the things lately that I always had, which I was maybe not even aware of while being, let's say, in my house with my parents, that they cooked every single day. They did the dishes. They did everything, like honestly, everything. And that that has pros and cons, I think, because I honestly, they worked way too hard for me for me to be average. That's always what I tell myself because they did everything in order to give me the best, like, you know, um, uh, the best duty, like to be able to, to study wherever I wanted to do X, Y, Z stuff. And they would be able to help me. Uh, honestly, I'm not like a type of person like the, the mo that most people think of, Oh, you know, this guy is such an example to look up to because he came from nothing went to everything. No, look, I had a very good youth, like youth, to be very honest. I had a very love and caring family that was most important for me. I was able to do almost everything that I wanted, not because we were rich, not at all, but we had, you know, my father worked actually from his, from the ground up because he came here with his parents, for example, just a personal story. He came here with his parents as immigrant workers from Spain. And he basically got bullied and all that kind of stuff when he was here because in the Netherlands, they didn't know what like foreigners were at that point when he came. And he didn't understand the language. He didn't know anything. He needed to work his ass off in order to get where he is right now. He is working nine to five, but there's nothing wrong with that. I would, you'll never hear me saying something like it. The only thing is, he worked so hard that he is basically in the top of his, let's say, work with over 30,000 people in a company. He is in the top five people and he actually started from the 30,000th and first position because he was just, you know, the call center where he was. That's where he started when he was very young. He worked his way up to become like beside, be staying beside the president of his company, being a manager over the entire Netherlands for what he is doing. And... With that, you know, he showed me actually that hard work works, honestly. If you work hard and you're actually determined to get a specific outcome, you know where you're heading to. He had a goal that was his family at that point because I was basically born. My mother and my father weren't like rich at all. He worked his ass off to where he is right now. And I respect that so much that I cannot, let's say, let him down by just wasting my days and wasting myself because he didn't do that for me. Why would I even be able to think about doing that while I'm maybe able with, you know, these opportunities right now to retire him at an earlier age? That is something that I am aiming for. And I know it's possible with all those teenage dropouts as well, right? No, you know, going in through pri private jets and all that kind of stuff. That's not for me. What is for me is, you know, to work for myself, for my family, to be able to give them a better life, the life that they gave me. And I want to give that like 100,000 times better back than I would, let's say, prefer to like maybe go around in a Lamborghini or have a Ferrari under your butt or whatever. That's not my type of like freedom. My type of freedom is to able to do, help my family to do the things I want as well, of course, because you cannot take care of your family if you cannot take care of yourself, right? But, you know, those are the things that I appreciate in life. And I will, like, like I said, I'm not going too much in depth about it right now. I'll definitely go into that more in depth in the next videos. Um, so if you guys want to know anything about me, my personal life, my business life, my workouts, my nutrition, like I said, anything, it doesn't matter. If it's something that I would feel like, okay, you know, this is something good to talk about in these topics, I will take that with me. So let me know, of course over my IG DMs or maybe here, you know, just under this YouTube video, what you want to know. And in the next videos, I will cover that as well. So yeah, with that being said, guys, um, I think we will just end the first video here. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to take you with me on this journey on these new videos, which are going to be 100% raw, no editing, like I said. Um, 
And I'm super excited to share this because I think uh, authenticity is something that is still lacking a lot in these days. And um, I don't want to like set a trend or whatever, but I do know that a lot of people, at least me, appreciate honesty and genuine like videos. That's something I care of. I, you know, I, I like to see more. And that's also why I'm creating this, creating videos that I would watch myself as well. So yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this first video. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see you uh, in the next video and uh, also to hear your thoughts on what you think of this. So let me know in the comments as well. If there's anything um, you would like to share with me, I'm actually reading everything. So um, you can just ask whatever you want, say whatever you want, and I will be able to respond on it. So have a good day out, guys, and uh, we see each other in uh, next week's video then uh, as well. Have a good day.